Okay, so you guys do know that you can put some comments right down underneath this video right here, right? In the comment section. Over the last two years, I have received so many comments and even emails, which are very complimentary. They're saying to me, Steve, is there anything you can't fix? Why, yes, there is. It's this son of a bitch right here, this old John Deere chainsaw. You guys have seen that sitting in my background for, for many months, for maybe 15 videos. Sitting back there, it's an ornament. You know why it's an ornament? Because I can't fix it. I need some help here. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm talking about. Just give me a minute to calm down. Okay, I'm better now. A couple sips of this helped a little bit. I'm not even gonna embarrass myself by trying to pronounce this. It's Czech beer, uh, product of the Czech Republic. You guys pronounce that for yourselves. I have tried everything on this, you guys. This is an old John Deere 60V. It's made by Echo. I'm not 100% sure how old it is. I'm gonna guess it would be uh, 35 years plus. This thing runs absolutely beautifully. Check this out. My ventilation system is going full speed. It just, it just runs absolutely perfectly. I can't give up on this thing. But what do you notice? There is no oil coming out of that oil hole. This thing has an automatic oiler on it. So when you're running it, it automatically oils. It also has this thumb pumper on it that you pump that up and down. It's a manual oiler. That's for if you need a little extra shot there, maybe you're, um, cutting some really old dry seed or something like that. You need a little couple extra shots of oil in there. You just pump that too. The automatic oiler or the manual oiler on this thing does not work. I am so frustrated with this. Uh, two mechanics that I know have already gone through this. I've gone through it many times. Nobody can figure out why this thing doesn't oil. Most chainsaws out there, pretty easy to do. If it doesn't oil in your stump, you can simply just replace the oiler. It's an oiler right in here that you can just unbolt it, pull it off, and put a whole new oiler assembly on there. Problem solved, done. Look at the parts breakdown for the oiling system on this chainsaw. Prepare to have your minds blown because mine was Look at this parts breakdown. Every single part that you see exploded in this view is part of the oiler system. There is springs, there is check balls, there's O-rings, there's knobs. It's unbelievable how complicated and complex the oiling system is on this. So guys, I'm telling you right now, I don't know everything. I can't fix this. I have to cut wood with this thing, but I can't cut wood until it oils properly. You know what happens if it's not oiling properly, the chain binds up, it overheats, you can make one cut and now the chain's stuck and it doesn't work anymore. I have to cut wood with this thing. I have tried absolutely everything that I can think of to make this thing oil again. Still can't do it. I've tried this, and uh, you know what? My next step, maybe I'm gonna try this out. I still actually don't think that's even gonna help. Guys, some of you guys out there, you small engine mechanics out there, I know there's some old school, some veteran small engine mechanics out there that might know a little bit more about this vintage of a saw. Maybe you got some tips and some tricks for me. Put some comments down right underneath this video. Tell me what you think that I should try next to make this happen. 
And uh, I hope you like this, guys, even though I'm telling you I can't fix something. Subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. Share this with your friends because maybe they will have some tips and tricks on doing this. Okay, I think I'm done venting now. Till the next video, guys. Maybe the next video will be me fixing this thing. I don't know. When we get there, we get there. Steve out. Yeah. <laughs>